So you're thinking about a move to Kansas City. Woo, we'd love to have you here in town, but you're probably a little overwhelmed. Kansas City's metropolitan area covers over 8,400 square miles after all. Don't worry, I'm here to help. Rach the Realtor here giving you the scoop on all things Kansas City, and today that means walking you through a step-by-step -step process to decide where in Kansas City is best for you. But first, don't hesitate to reach out. Shoot me a text, send me an email, or give me a call on the phone. I cannot wait to connect with you and hear about where you are in your journey. Let's dive in, shall we? Okay, the first decision you'll need to make when you're considering where you should live in Kansas City is the lifestyle you're looking for. So Kansas City is super diverse in terms of communities. You could have one neighborhood that is artsy and quirky right next to the tourist trap of downtown. I'm thinking downtown Kansas City versus the Crossroads Arts District for those of you taking notes. You also could have suburbia just miles away from farmland. So the lifestyle you're looking for will really drive the bus in narrowing down where you should live in Kansas City. I'm gonna break it down into three main categories and that is city life, suburbia, or small town feel. Kansas City metro area offers all three of those, um, but when you divide it further on the next step, you'll see that there are more in certain parts of town. So the next decision you will want to make is the controversial one. So if you're not from here, you probably don't understand how much of a thing it is, but do you want to live in Kansas or Missouri? Sounds like a simple question, but locals here pick a team and they are diehards for their team. And that doesn't just mean the University of Missouri and KU. <laughs> it means like I live on the Missouri side or the Kansas side and I am everything that goes with that. <laughs> so what I was saying earlier about the different types of lifestyles being more prominent in different parts of the city is most obvious if you're wanting the city lifestyle, the hustle and bustle. If you think you want to live on the Kansas side and have the city lifestyle, that's gonna be a little harder. That's because Kansas City, Missouri is what you think of when you think of like the city, Kansas City. And that's on the Missouri side. There is a whole separate city called Kansas City, Kansas that is on the Kansas side of the state line. And when you drive into it, you really don't feel like, oh, I can, I'm obviously in a different city now, but it's definitely not like the hustle and bustle part of the city. Um, Kansas City, Kansas only has about 150,000 residents. Kansas City, Missouri has over 400,000, to give you an idea. Kansas City, Kansas is best known for its um, local Mexican food, tacos, believe it or not. <laughs> so anyways, that my rambling tacos always get me distracted. But if you want the city lifestyle, you're probably going to want to live in Missouri. However, if you want the suburbia lifestyle, Missouri, the Missouri side definitely has its suburbs, but if you're thinking like classic suburbia, everything matches, it's, the streets are in perfect grids and has all the chain restaurants you could ever dream of, you're looking at the Kansas side. The Kansas side is peak suburbs. Um, in fact, I did a whole video on best suburbs in the Kansas City Metro, so make sure you go back and watch that. And I picked them by north, south, east, and west. So three of them are Missouri suburbs. And that was Liberty, Missouri, which is up north, Blue Springs, Missouri, which is out east, and Lee Summit, which is a little more south of the KC downtown. The number one suburb for the west was Overland Park, Kansas. But that was the hardest one to pick because the suburbs on the Kansas side are all like peak suburbs. They're like award-winning suburbs. We're talking Olathe, Shawnee, Overland Park, of course, Leewood. So if you want to live in suburbia, you probably want to live on the Kansas side of the state line. However, if you go back and watch that video, you'll learn there are definitely perks to living in Missouri side suburbs. If you decide you for sure want the city life, kind of the hustle and bustle, and you've eliminated the KCK because like you're crazy and you don't love tacos or something, 
<laughs> um, on the Missouri side, on KCMO, there are a ton of great neighborhoods to choose from. And I also did a video about that, breaking down the top neighborhoods in Kansas City, Missouri. So make sure you go watch that because I go into detail about each one of these neighborhoods, but I'm just gonna give you a spoiler alert and give you the list of what I think are the best neighborhoods in KCMO. And they are the Country Club Plaza, downtown Kansas City, the River Market, Hyde Park, and Brookside. But there are so many that I didn't even touch on in that list. So KCMO has a whole wide variety of neighborhoods in and of itself. And if you want to do the city lifestyle, that's probably, you're probably going to want to be in the KC, Kansas City, Missouri boundaries. Um, so lots to choose from there. One thing that I really haven't touched on on this channel yet is small towns. And that is one of the awesome parts about Kansas City is you can literally live on a farm and be like a 30 minute drive from downtown Kansas City. And a lot of major metro areas, that is not the case. Personally, I live in an area that would definitely be considered a small town. And I love it because it's quiet, it's easy to get around town, but then I can hop on the interstate and get to anything I need in the city within 25 or 30 minutes. So if you're choosing Kansas or Missouri, the small town category is one that I would say is definitely equal parts on each side. I will say if you choose a small town on the Kansas side, the suburban sprawl on the Kansas side stretches out further west. So you might have a further drive into downtown, but there are some really, really cute small towns on the Kansas side up in North Kansas City, up north by like north of the airport. Even there's some really good ones up there. And then out east of Missouri of Casey, there's a good chunk of small towns as well. So really where you live in Kansas City boils down to what lifestyle you want. Do you want the hustle and bustle of the city? Do you want the predictability and comforts of suburbia? Or do you want the quirks and charm of small town life? You can have any of it within a reasonable drive to downtown Kansas City. The other choice you'll make is if you want to be on the Kansas side or the Missouri side. Um, and for if you're not from here, if you're not familiar with that, that might not seem like a big deal, but it will be, it will be once you move here. <laughs> and then once you've narrowed both of those down, it'll really contain you to a list of just a few communities that you have to research and short, sort through. I am here to help you through that process. I would love to chat with you and give you a list of like three or four communities to really dig in on that suits where you are on this, um, you know, hypothetical flow chart. So where you want to live in Kansas City, it's different for every person, but there are so many great neighborhoods and I cannot wait to introduce you to them all. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel and I will be back with more on everything Kansas City very soon. Talk to you next time.